Okay, so here I am in Spokane, Washington, and I received my blue apron, and I'm going to do the spiced rubbed pork. So I always have my little menu thing out here, and I always take this little never and put it right there. I go, aha! Then I go to my refrigerator, and I look for my knick-knack, patty whack and my other ingredients come on over and take a look in my fridge see this? i have my shelf right here this is my most important shelf because that's where my blue apron stuff goes okay caramelized onions so that's going to be a part of this dish tonight so this is how it really happens. I get my not so sharp knife because I don't have sharp knives. There it is. You know, the one thing I like about Blue Apron is usually, most likely, 99% of the time, you only use one pan. I'm gonna read over my recipe a little bit more and see what I prepare first. Oh, and guess what? I went to the store and bought these cute, little nesting bowls to put the spices aren't they cute to read now and i did preheat my oh i thought i preheated my oven dang it i'm gonna preheat my oven and i'm gonna read some more see you in a minute line a pan with aluminum foil so that's what i'm gonna do I'm gonna pack the pork. Hello, pork. Oh, dry the paper towel. <laughs> so I patted it. Pat. And then I this is my salt. Uh-oh, where'd my pepper go? Uh-oh. I'll find it just like <laughs> Leah, where'd you put my pepper? Pepper. pepper. <laughs> what, did he, what did he just say? Up your butt. No, no, this is a not an R-rated show. Okay. Roast pork seasoning. Okay. So then I have my little scissors right there. I don't know where those scissors came from. <laughs> Those aren't my kitchen scissors. Oh well. I'm patting it. Is this? Oh shoot! I didn't turn the pan on. Damn. I might be a little nervous doing this video, and so I'm trying to do things fast. But I, I should just slow down. Wait. I know how to slow down. I know that Blue Apron has fine wines, you know. But I kind of go to a big box store and get mine. And sometimes to calm down while I'm cooking, yeah, I need a little vino. And this might go with the pork dish. Um, it was a La Petite Pazin Riesling. Uh, close, it's not a Riesling, but it's white, so <laughs> cheers. My oil's heating up now for my pork. Ooh, hear a little sizzle? I'm searing it. So while I, while that's doing that, I'm gonna start in on my um, onions and garlic. Here, I'll move that wine bottle out of the way so we can promote Blue Apron wine and not big box store wines. Okay, so I chopped my garlic, got a little bit of onion in here, and I took the skins off the onion, and I'm going to prepare the onions like what they show in the picture for, oh my gosh, I forgot I was searing it. I've got a <laughs> searing, I, am I, and searing uh, for my daughter who's behind the camera, is for locking in the juices and flavor of uh, your meat. I might have seared that just a little bit too much. It looks good. Sometimes you gotta adjust your heat when it comes to searing. And you wanna sear all sides. 
Okay, so I did the onions. I have a few little tears in my eyes, but this bowl is just not big enough, so I'm putting it in here. And you see, I found the olive oil and I put it in my drizzle thing. So I'm drizzling, drizzling, drizzling. And I hope that's enough drizzle, drazzle. And then I'm putting it in the side here. That's a lot of onion, but onions are good for you. And now I'll start the oven. You guys, usually I'm always using one pan, but today you want me to bring out my other pan for the caramelized onion. Interesting, I'm gonna turn the heat off on this one. And so I need to learn how to do that caramelized onion thing. And so now I'm just gonna chop all these up. We're gonna put some butter in the pan and let it melt. We're caramelizing, and we're gonna add the diced Hi. dressing. Hi, Karen. Oh, well, look who's here. Hi. Oh my gosh, it smells wonderful in here. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like onions in here. I'm, have you ever caramelized onions? Uh, yes. Oh, good. Well, oh my I have gosh, it. Karen. So, this is my friend Gina, my neighbor Gina. Hi. <laughs> and we're going to caramelize onions. You know okay. how to do that? Yes. Oh, good. I well, do. She knows how to caramelize onions. I don't. This is my first time okay. caramelizing. Well, yeah, but you don't want to burn that. Okay. And she's. we're going to caramelize them. So, Gina, did you bring her <coughs> a cocktail over? I did. What? We, we don't drink around here, do we? No. <laughs> Karen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Talking to the microphone. Oh, we're, okay. We're supposed to be using a microphone. Go on. You know, Blue Apron, we got to cook. We can't use a microphone. We, no. We're, we're we just, just hey, I'm going to mic this. myself right there. I'm going to put it on my shirt. There. <laughs> Did you know rinsing black beans, Gina, helps you not to tooth? I didn't know that. That's why you rinse beans, is it helps. So the tooting in your intestines doesn't go wow, too, 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 too loud. I didn't know that. Well, I think I read that somewhere. Behind the scenes. <laughs> what are you doing, Jack? Just going behind the scenes of what happens behind the break. cooking. And Karen, they do provide everything and the onion smells wonderful. They provided the onion, they provide the directions, but I need to get the water. They don't provide the water. <laughs> Karen, you know what? I need another sip of water. Karen, it just ripped. It ripped. <laughs> it ripped. This is the vinegar. What is that? This is wine. <laughs> no, I was supposed to put half we the, put the wine. No, stop, oh, stop. Okay. I was supposed to put half the wine. Half the vinegar. Half the vinegar. In the... No, on the... Over the onions. Uh-oh, Karen. Karen. <laughs> what? They fogged up? Eyes got steamy. Uh, okay. Oh, that looks yummy. Wow. Uh, we're at step four. We're going to cook the beans. So I love these little bowls. The Blue Apron taught me this. To put your stuff in little bowls. And then you just dump it in? Yeah. 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 And I'm going to just... What is that? The garlic? Yeah. And we're going to stir this until it's fragrant. You can look at our uh, onions, too. Yes, I see those. Mm. Yeah, you don't want to ever burn your garlic, right? Ever. Right, ever. Yeah. Am I still mic'd? Yes, I am. There's my mic. <laughs> Add the beans to that. There mm -hmm. you go. I turned the heat down a little bit because I didn't want yeah. them. Add honey to that. Okay. But should we turn this down, sure. Karen? Sure. Where's the honey? This. Add honey to okay. that. Oh! And while you're doing that, I'm going to get a meat thermometer. Can you believe this? How many meat thermometers I have? And each of them come up with a different reading. So sometimes I poke, 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 poke them. But I'm going to choose today. I'm going to choose this one that Gina gave me. I don't want, I don't want to overcook. Oh, <laughs> I think that was the... <laughs> Was that the meat? I think that was the tiny 
bigger for the meat because it's up to one. Oh wow! Shoot, I don't want to ruin that piece of meat. What's it supposed to be to pork? One forty-five. Oh shoot. Okay, what is it? Did it go all the way? One eighty-six. That's okay. <laughs> one eighty-six. Do one of the other thermometers. Okay, try another one. I can't. It's up to 100. And it's not, it's barely moving. So maybe I wasn't right. Okay, I guess I do have to use all three of my thermometers. Oh, I like the big one. Nice touch. We'll see if it gets up there. Maybe that wasn't right. Okay, I'm okay, going to put so the, this the in beans, here. Okay, because the beans have the honey. A little bit of cilantro. How's that? Does that look good? Well, I'd put a little, a little bit. You more. know, it said to use it for garnish, but sometimes. Mm. Mm. This one's not even moving. This one says 182. This says 120. <laughs> Why would you say 180? Here's one. Well, it says the instant red thermometer, which is this one. This one. So this one should register. <laughs> Thermometer is going up to 180. Yeah, just like the other one, Karen. Yeah. Yep. I think our meal is almost done. I'm not sure about the meat because one thermometer says 120, one says 120, one says 175, and one maybe this was a can't. This is off the charts. It's just like it just almost blew up. Gina and I <laughs> are first gonna. Sit down and have a drink and talk a little bit, and then talk I'll plate it. Okay. So remember, we thought with all of these that the meat might not be done. So I took it out, like Blue Apron said, and put it on a cutting board, and I let it sit for a little bit. And it is done. Is it too done? I'm not sure. Mm hmm. Does it look that great? Yeah, not as good as your pictures, <laughs> but, <laughs> but but it's fine. And so then, Let me just zoom in on this garnish with cilantro. Oh, oh. There you go. but got it. our neighbors, our friends came over to share their meal with us: some cauliflowers and potatoes. Where's the chicken? Uh oh, we forgot the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> And get the chicken. Okay. Salute. <laughs> but before they get the chicken, we're all going to say salute. salute. Thank salute. you, Blue Apron, for the opportunity Yay, to film. Blue Apron. Teach Yay, Blue me Apron. how to cook. And, and you know what? I even gave Gina Blue Apron yes. one time, and she loved it. When they it. were out of town, and I loved it. So thank you, Blue thank Apron. Thank you, Blue Apron. Mm. Where'd my mic go? Over and out. Drop the mic. Oh. <laughs> and that's as good as it gets.